Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas with YOLO Live, and today we're going to talk about the YOLO Live Pro 1.9 update. YOLO Live 1.9 Pro, it is a lot of new features, especially inviting remote guests. This is huge. So many times we want to bring in a remote caller. Now it's built into the YOLO box. This is going to be fantastic. You have a mini presentation switcher. We have a new way to do side-by-sides. The USB webcam is fully functional in terms of doing overlays and graphics. That is fantastic all over USB and more social overlay templates. Uh, comments from Twitch are supported. You can swap videos. This is going to be a fantastic update. Let's dig in. I'm recording this on the original YOLO box so that you can see the menu of the YOLO box pro and down here on the right. The first new thing you need to pay attention to is that icon with two people on it. That's where we bring in a remote guest. One of the important things you need to remember is we're doing this on a tablet and there's only so much CPU power to go around. So USB power, animated GIFs and URL web overlays, those are all very CPU intensive. So for the best performance, if you could reduce your use of those features, as it says right over here, and that will enable you to have the best performance for remote guests. Let's invite a guest. Send an email. All right, I, I clicked allow participants to join. <laughs> I am going to access that on my phone. There we go. Allow mic and camera access, allow Hello, hello, hello. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go sideways. Let's check your camera and mic. Hello, hello, hello. Ba, ba, ba. And then at the bottom, once they check their camera and mic, it says join event. I say join. Then on the mobile device, I can see the actual program and I can see my own camera feed right there and I have settings. There you go. And here I'm talking to you on the Ola box and you can see I have a remote guest right here. I can bring them up and then this is how they look on camera. Actually, that looks really good. It clears up, you know, as soon as they're brought onto the program. Wow, that looks really good. And then back to me. And then, of course, over here in the audio mixer, you see where it says guest six. So I have the ability to turn their audio on and off. And if you remember what I say, mute guests audio by default. So as soon as they connect, I see them. They, they show up in my program as a source, but they're not. They don't come right on the screen and. I have their audio muted, so that is a key feature that people can come on but I control, as the producer, I control what's going on. So then I can turn on their audio because remember, the Pro has a mixer. I can have multiple sources with multiple audio levels. That is key. Then I'm just gonna leave that off so I don't have any looping going on here. And then let's just say I can add a side-by-side -side with me next and me I'm not narcissistic. <laughs> there we go. Let's leave it there. Done. And then I can bring that up. And now I can have this side by side. Hey, everybody. Great talking to you. This is me on the YOLO Live. And this is the guest. And you can see the delay is minimal. It is very fast. So if I'm talking, it's a half second delay between what I'm doing here and what the remote person is doing coming in as well. So you really don't have to worry about it. And again, the remote guest is seeing the audio, seeing and hearing the show that you're producing on their end as well. So they can he they can see what I'm saying and they can see how it looks on the screen, whether I'm showing content, whether you side by side or whatever, they can see it. 
they see exactly what this program is in the main window. And then if I bring myself up, they see that. And if I bring their camera up, they see just, they see just this. And that's how that works. You could do a split view where you can do one and two next. So this way, I'm talking to you both on the YOLO Live and on the phone. And you could see the quality of the content that you're getting from both sources. Actually, the, the phone looks really, really good, I have to say. Um, and then, of course, you could always change the speaker positions. You know, so you give your, give your guests a little bit more space. You could add the border thickness in there. And you could swap the video if you want to. Done. So this is an example of how easy it is. Oh, sorry, I talked the wrong thing. This is this is the uh, guest camera. This is an example of how easy it is to bring in a remote guest into Yolo Live with zero additional hardware. I sent the link from within the Yolo box. I am recording it. I am streaming it. I am doing my picture in picture. I am managing the audio. I could have the Yolo box in my hand with a SIM card. And that is literally all you need. That is amazing. Let me, for the sake of discussion here, I am going to switch the audio. So this is the audio that I'm recording in the studio here. Let me turn this off. This is the audio from the guest, and I can see it's actually a lot hotter, so I'm going to bring that back a little bit because I have an audio mixer built in to the Yolo Box Pro, and I have the ability to hear this on my headphones and adjust my audio so that I can make sure that I have consistent audio between the two colors. Now, I can't listen while I'm doing this demo because there's a delay going through the whole system and I can't talk to you and also hear my own voice coming back to me with a delay. I, I'm just not able to do that. So I don't wear headphones while doing these tutorials because it's impossible to hear an echo of myself, especially now with two echoes saying the same thing that I'm trying to say at the same time. All right, the next thing I really want to show you is, now you've seen this side-by-side -side mode before, and this is a very handy mode for putting two people side-by-side, -side, and it is usually defaulted to where this is as big as it gets, pretty much. You've got a full screen and a full screen, but now if you adjust this side, you can see you can make it smaller, but now making it bigger, we'll squeeze one to the other. And this is basically, I would say, an improved version of the news format because you have my guest has a full screen and it is super wide because I'm using the wide angle on my phone. And they have a lot of space to walk around. And me in this camera, I have my, I've been narrowed, but I still have perfect proportions and you can, you know, I, I have enough room to talk and to say what I need to say, but my guest has all this room and they can be presenting and moving around while I have my little slot. And then you can adjust how big that slot is. And that, and it takes up a good amount of the screen real estate. I think that is a beautiful solution that um, delivers a nice, big, bold, full screen image. And if I'm the guest, I'm talking and I have all this room. And if I'm the host, I'm talking in this one and I have my little slot and I can cut to that and then cut back to me. This is fantastic. It's a great update to what we already had, just adding more flexibility and more differentiation between your stream and somebody else's stream. That's what makes the YOLO box so good. Another under the hood update is the USB-C out now includes your overlays. Now, again, there's only so much the device can do. So you want to stay with your HDMI devices, 
and you want to avoid other processor intensive things when you're asking the CPU to now also compress your entire stream onto USB. So we can turn that on. And also there's a couple other settings in here because you know sometimes when you bring in a USB it flips. Well, you can unflip it here in the YOLO box itself. I just made a video about all the different overlays and graphics that are built into the Yellow Box. I guess I should have waited a couple days because now social overlays are even better. Let's dig right into this. Doop. You can see, and we start. We had just the one in the top left, but now there are four more different versions of this. Let's go to the top right. Again, you can pick the logo that you want. Change the username, change the username size, but you see how this is separate without the white border behind it. So that makes it different. Let's make another one, social overlays. This one, <laughs> I love the little subscribe, the thumb. This one is great for putting in the center. Make it really big. <laughs> Actually, we'll put it over here to the side, done. And then we'll add, let's see, this one, Twitter. Uh, let's go to Facebook. There you go, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube becomes red. So there you go. It, it takes the color of the social media that you're choosing. Let's go with Instagram on that one. It's nice and colorful. And then, of course, again, you can get the scale. It's like a button. You can put that up here in the corner. Done. Let's put another one, social overlays. Let's do this last one. This one is nice and neat. Obviously, this one looks more like a LinkedIn type of thing because it's very straightforward and proper. And again, you can change the scale. So I'll put this one up here, done. And one, two, three, four. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. So with just the program out from the Yellow Box Pro, these are the four new social overlays that have been added to the Yolo Box Pro. And I love it. I, I just love the flexibility. They, they don't look anything alike, yet they all still convey the information you're trying to get across to your audience. You know, you could do it in a fun way. You can do it in, in a neat, proper way. You know, you've got a button and you've got this one down here, which is, you know, still a nice, fun way to do it, but without the white line behind it. So Props to YOLO Live for giving us even more flexibility, even more ways to make our stream look different than everybody else's and no additional hardware needed. It's all built into the YOLO Box Pro. Next up, built-in music for your countdown timer. Let us go over here and open this up. We're gonna pick, it doesn't matter which timer you pick. Now you've got most of this you've seen before, entering, outering, dimming, level the scale of everything but at the very top of this background music let's click on that it's looking on my sd card and i have all of this music playing on here real estate promo let's click on that one done done and that music is playing you can see right up here the audio meter is moving and I can actually hear it in the phone because the remote guest, which is still connected to my pro, is watching the program and can hear the music. So you need to set the audio levels in the file that you're going to play. So if it's a loud file, re, you know, make another version where the audio is a little bit lower for your pre-show or whatever. But that way your background music file can be attached to your countdown timer. And then when you come out of the countdown timer, it fades off. It doesn't just cut off, it fades off. And that is a fantastic addition to the Yolo Box Pro. Built in, no additional hardware, no additional computers, nothing else needed. It's integrated into the system. Building your multi-views is now even easier on the Pro with the addition of a swap video button. Now, when you would build one, you'd have to say this input, then this input, then this input. And then when you get there, you're like, oh, I actually wanted it reversed. Now there's a button. You don't have to reselect your sources. You, you can if you want to change multiple things. But a swap video is super easy. Let's click on that. So let's just say I created this multi-view, which I did. And I said, you know what? I really want the other, I want, the, I want them swapped. So you click that button, boom, swapped. 
Super easy. Done. And I created a picture in picture. Da 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 da. I say say I am going to do a green screen now. Done. And I am creating a picture in picture like this. And this is me in front of the background. But if I selected them wrong, I could just tap this and now it's the background in front of me. You can't really see me because I'm in the background. But that's how easy it is to make these changes done. Another really interesting addition, let me turn my green screen off, is that now your picture in picture has a new feature where you've got a border. Let's just say I'm gonna make this a little smaller and I'm going to choose the shape. I'm going to choose a circle. Done. Ah, not done. I'm going to choose a circle. I'm going to put it, let's just say I'm going to put it up here in the corner. But you know what? Rather than just a bare circle, I'd like a little bit of a border on that. And you know what? Not red. Let's make it a white border. Okay. And there you go. Now I've really set it apart. It actually has a physical edge to it. And that is a nice little tweak that's been built into the Yolo box that just adds more icing on the cake. Now, one thing I don't really talk about much is when you select the border color, you've got all these choices. And in the bottom left here is custom. You click on custom, you can pick any color. And also you see that number sign, the pound and then a bunch of digits. That's where you can actually enter a hexadecimal code for whatever your client color happens to be. There are often spreadsheets that specifically say um, it's going to be FF something alphanumeric. That's going to be their specific client color. So if you're trying to do, you know, Facebook blue, well, it could be any one of these blues. But if you come down here and type in the hexadecimal code that is six digits, alphanumeric letters and numbers, if you type them in, then you will have the exact code. With the custom color picker that is built into the Yolo box, you can pick any color you want. You're not limited to the swatches that first come up. And with the hex code, you can type in and specify any specific color to get a perfect match as opposed to just trying to do it by touch. Like if I want to do Android, A4C639, I can come over here and type in a four c six three nine done okay and there you go you've got your android green border around the circle that will match the corporate color for that event that you're doing for an android expo Another little tweak to the countdown timer for titles is that it applies to all titles. And as you can see right here, it now includes a countdown timer that you can see. Let's do that. We're going to go up to here for my lower third. I'm going to put the auto hide on. I'm going to say it's 10 seconds. Done. Done. So this way, when I turn it on, it's on. I can take a look. I can say I got seven seconds left. This way, I'm not left guessing how much time is left. I had two, one, and then it should be fading right out. Just like that. Again, that auto fade feature is really good. It makes it look like you have a separate producer taking care of you behind the scenes. But having that little counter right there also lets you know in your mind, have confidence that it is indeed counting down and you know how much time you have left before it's going to go away. So that has been a look at all the enhancements, feature updates, tweaks, enhancements that YOLO Live has put into the YOLO Box Pro to make your job even easier. And some of these features, especially the remote callers, they are fantastic. I encourage you, if you have the YOLO Box Pro, to go dig in, check them out, learn how to use them, learn how to best incorporate them into your productions. My name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live. Thanks for watching.